Carnot's theorem, developed in 1824 by Nicholas Leonard Sardi Carnot, also called Carnot's rule, is a principle that specifies limits on the maximum efficiency any heat engine can obtain. The efficiency of a Carnot engine depends solely on the difference between the hot and cold temperature reservoirs. Carnot's theorem states, all heat engines between two heat reservoirs are less efficient than a Carnot heat engine operating between the same reservoirs. Every Carnot heat engine between a pair of heat reservoirs is equally efficient, regardless of the working substance employed or the operation details. The formula for this maximum efficiency is eta max equals eta Carnot equals one minus T C T H Display style eta underscore text max equals eta underscore text carnet equals one frac T underscore mathram C T underscore mathram H where T C is the absolute temperature of the cold reservoir, T H is the absolute temperature of the hot reservoir, and the efficiency eta display style eta is the ratio of the work done by the engine to the heat drawn out of the hot reservoir. Based on modern thermodynamics, Carnot's theorem is a result of the second law of thermodynamics. Historically, it was based on contemporary caloric theory and preceded the establishment of the second law. Topic proof The proof of the Carnot theorem is a proof by contradiction, or reductio ad absurdum, as illustrated by the figure showing two heat engines operating between two reservoirs of different temperature. The heat engine with more efficiency eta m display style eta underscore m is driving a heat engine with less efficiency eta l display style eta underscore l, causing the latter to act as a heat pump. This pair of engines receives no outside energy and operates solely on the energy released when heat is transferred from the hot and into the cold reservoir. However, if eta m greater than eta l display style eta underscore m greater than eta underscore l, then the net heat flow would be backwards, i.e., into the hot reservoir. Q hot out equals Q eta m eta l Q equals Q hot in display style Q underscore text hot caret text out equals Q. It is generally agreed that this is impossible because it violates the second law of thermodynamics. We begin by verifying the values of work and heat flow depicted in the figure. First, we must point out an important caveat: the engine with less efficiency, eta l, display style eta underscore l, is being driven as a heat pump, and therefore must be a reversible engine. If the less efficient engine, eta l, display style eta underscore l, is not reversible, then the device could be built, but the expressions for work and heat flow shown in the figure would not be valid. By restricting our discussion to cases where engine eta l display style eta underscore l has less efficiency than engine eta m display style eta underscore m, we are able to simplify notation by adopting the convention that all symbols q display style q and w display style w represent non-negative quantities since the direction of energy flow never changes sign in all cases where eta l eta m display style eta underscore l lexlant eta underscore m conservation of energy demands that for each engine the energy which enters e i n display style e underscore in must equal the energy which exits e o u t display style e underscore out e i n m equals q equals one minus eta m q plus eta M Q equals E O U T M display style E underscore in carrot M equals Q equals one eta underscore M Q plus eta underscore M Q equals E underscore out carrot M E I N L 
equals eta m q plus eta m q 1 eta l minus 1 equals eta m eta l q equals E O U T L display style E underscore in carrot L equals eta underscore M Q plus eta underscore M Q left frac one eta underscore L minus one right equals frac eta underscore M eta underscore L Q equals E underscore out carrot L. The figure is also consistent with the definition of efficiency as eta equals W Q H display style eta equals with Q underscore H for both engines eta M equals W M Q H M equals eta M Q Q equals eta m display style eta underscore m equals frac w underscore m q underscore h caret m equals frac eta underscore m q q equals eta underscore m eta l equals w l q h l equals eta M Q Ata M Ata L Q equals Ata L Display style Ata underscore L equals frac W underscore L Q underscore H carrot L equals frac Ata underscore M Q frac Ata underscore M Ata underscore L Q equals Ata underscore L it may seem odd that a hypothetical heat pump with low efficiency is being used to violate the second law of thermodynamics, but the figure of merit for refrigerator units is not efficiency. W Q H display style with Q underscore H, but the coefficient of performance COP, which is Q C W display style Q underscore C W a reversible heat engine with low thermodynamic efficiency w q h display style with q underscore h delivers more heat to the hot reservoir for a given amount of work when it is being driven as a heat pump having established that the heat flow values shown in the figure are correct carnot's theorem may be proven for irreversible and the reversible heat engines Topic. Reversible engines To see that every reversible engine operating between reservoirs T 1 display style T underscore 1 and T 2 display style T underscore 2 must have the same efficiency assume that two reversible heat engines have different values of eta Display style eta, and let the more efficient engine M drive the less efficient engine L as a heat pump. As the figure shows, this will cause heat to flow from the cold to the hot reservoir without any external work or energy, which violates the second law of thermodynamics. Therefore, both reversible heat engines have the same efficiency, and we conclude that all reversible engines that operate between the same two heat reservoirs have the same efficiency. This is an important result because it helps establish the Clausius theorem, which implies that the change in entropy is unique for all reversible processes. Delta S equals A B D Q R E V T Display style delta s equals in underscore a carrot b frac d q underscore rev t over all paths from a to b in v t space. 
if this integral were not path independent, then entropy, S, would lose its status as a state variable. Irreversible engines If one of the engines is irreversible, it must be the M engine, placed so that it reverse drives the less efficient but reversible L engine. But if this irreversible engine is more efficient than the reversible engine, i.e., if eta M greater than eta L display style eta underscore M greater than eta underscore L, then the second law of thermodynamics is violated. And, since the Carnot cycle represents a reversible engine, we have the first part of Carnot's theorem. No irreversible engine is more efficient than the Carnot engine operating between the same two reservoirs. <laughs> <laughs> Definition of thermodynamic temperature The efficiency of the engine is the work divided by the heat introduced to the system or where WCY is the work done per cycle. Thus, the efficiency depends only on QC, QH. Because all reversible engines operating between the same heat reservoirs are equally efficient, all reversible heat engines operating between temperatures T1 and T2 must have the same efficiency, meaning the efficiency is a function only of the two temperatures. In addition, a reversible heat engine operating between temperatures T1 and T3 must have the same efficiency as one consisting of two cycles, one between T1 and another intermediate temperature T2, and the second between T2 and T3. This can only be the case if F T 1 T 3 equals Q 3 Q 1 equals q 2 q 3 q 1 q 2 equals f t 1 t 2 f t 2 t 3 Display style F T underscore one T underscore three equals frac Q underscore three Q underscore one equals frac Q underscore two Q underscore three Q underscore one Q underscore two equals F T underscore one T underscore two F T underscore two T underscore three Specializing to the case that T one Display style T underscore one is a fixed reference temperature, the temperature of the triple point of water. Then for any T2 and T3 F T 2 T 3 equals F T 1 T 3 F T 1 T 2 equals 273.16 F T 1 T 3 273.16 F T 1 T 2 Display style F T underscore two T underscore three equals frac F T underscore one T underscore three F T underscore one T underscore two equals frac two hundred and seventy three point one six C D O T F T underscore one T underscore three two hundred and seventy three point one six C D O T F T underscore one T underscore two. Therefore, if thermodynamic temperature is defined by T equals 273.16 F T 1 T display style T equals 273.16 C D O T F T underscore 1 T then the function F viewed as a function of thermodynamic temperature is F T 2 T 3 equals T 3 T 2 
Display style f t underscore two t underscore three equals frac t underscore three t underscore two, and the reference temperature t one has the value two hundred and seventy three point one six. Of course, any reference temperature and any positive numerical value could be used. The choice here corresponds to the Kelvin scale. It follows immediately that substituting equation three back into equation one gives a relationship for the efficiency in terms of temperature. Topic. Applicability to fuel cells and batteries Since fuel cells and batteries can generate useful power when all components of the system are at the same temperature, T equals T H equals T C Display style T equals T underscore H equals T underscore C they are clearly not limited by Carnot's theorem, which states that no power can be generated when T H equals T C display style T underscore H equals T underscore C. This is because Carnot's theorem applies to engines converting thermal energy to work, whereas fuel cells and batteries instead convert chemical energy to work. Nevertheless, the second law of thermodynamics still provides restrictions on fuel cell and battery energy conversion. <laughs> <laughs> 